caught in the crossfire It's caught in the crossfire How's it going everyone? It's Seal Suede here from Diabetic Aesthetics. Just woke up, it's currently 9 in the morning. So I'm gonna be doing the craziest thing I've ever done today. Probably the dumbest thing I've ever done and I've never done this before but I'm gonna be doing a two-a-day today. So what a two-a-day is, is when you do two weight training sessions in one day. In my case, it's gonna be a push workout and a legs workout. So this is something I definitely don't recommend anyone do and it's definitely something that I don't believe in but I'm doing this for three reasons. A, I thought it would make for a cool video and kind of like have a topic to talk about uh, for this video. And B, uh, I missed a training session yesterday and I just don't want to be behind. And C, it would make for a pretty cool damn video. <laughs> so other than that, I would never ever do this. And like I said, I don't believe in this. And I'll uh, talk more about that towards the end of the video and kind of my views on why I don't do this and why I don't think this is ever necessary to do. But anyways, it's currently nine in the morning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to the gym right now. So I'm gonna go fasted. I'm not gonna eat anything uh, just because two weight training sessions. That's kind of a lot of time for my day and I don't wanna be in the gym for so long, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock one training session out, which is my push workout in the morning, and then I'll do my legs later in the evening. So what I'm gonna do is have a cup of coffee right now and kinda of just go fast. But anyways, let's go ahead and get my day started. So it's been about an hour, I'm actually right outside the gym right now, and I know you've all seen me measure my blood sugar in the morning, but I'm gonna go ahead and measure my blood sugar again, just because I'm training fasted and I don't normally do that, so I just wanna make sure my blood sugar's at the right spot. Also, I'm most insulin resistant in the morning, so like I said, I didn't have anything to eat, but I did take correction. Well, my, my blood sugar was actually at a stable range, around 90, but I still took two units just because I know my blood sugar uh, will slowly rise up if I don't eat anything, especially in the morning, because so my body's been through a long time without any insulin throughout the night. So I uh, wanna make sure that my blood sugar is not low right now. And that's the thing, it's always tricky because you might not feel it. So you might go in and feel great in the beginning of your workout, then all of a sudden, mid-workout, boom, you hit a low and just feel like crap and your entire workout's ruined. So it's always good to double check, even though it's only been an hour apart and the time frames are very small. It could still tell a lot about your blood sugars and what's gonna happen in the future. All right, so it's 106. That's a good sign, especially because it was 90 about an hour ago, maybe an hour, 15 minutes ago. So slowly going up and this workout will definitely level it out. So always good to double check. All right, so first workout of the day calls for a push workout. I'm on the bench press right now. Just did my first set of 210 pounds for five reps. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit 225 for five. And then I'm gonna do my last set on the bench, which is 235 pounds for five plus reps. I'm gonna kind of take you all along through this workout, and that's kind of like my plan for these two workouts. Just kind of uh, give you guys some tips, some advice, and just show you my routine, you know? Anyways, let's go ahead, let's hit it. All right, my last and fourth set for the bench press, I'm gonna just drop it down to 225 and do an AMRAP, which means as many reps as possible, but one before failure. Next is a dumbbell shoulder press. Gonna do my heaviest set first, aiming to get around four to six reps. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the 85s and attempt this. I don't know if I can do it, but let's see. Hell yeah, four reps on the 85s. Huge PR. That many sixes, you should be 
this. I gotta do some. Alright, just got done with the dumbbell shoulder press. Now on to some incline dumbbell bench press. Like I said, as usual, training around the principles of reverse pyramid training. So doing the first set heavy, four to six reps, then dropping it down as the sets go by, doing four sets total. These are the 95 pound dumbbells, by the way. You're gonna try and hit a PR on these. Smell that? Hundreds, coming soon. <laughs> Taste them. Gateway, man, you can't afford me. Doing this one thing. Doing it right is a whole different story. All in their feelings these days. All in their feelings these days. But hearing a scripture with that many sixes, you should be a friend. Oh, yeah. Honestly, kind of screwed up on that first initial rep, so really feel like I could have pushed the fourth one, but it's alright. Hit PRs every day and progressing. Hundreds coming soon. All right, so we're on to the next exercise. I'm gonna go ahead and do some weighted dips for my compound tricep movement. Like I said, I know this sounds so repetitive, but first set heavy, four to six reps. This is 245 and a five, and just progressing on that. All right, so we're gonna move on to shoulders for the last shoulder exercise of the push workout. We're gonna do some dumbbell lateral raises. So I just got done my push workout. Hope you all enjoyed that. It was a pretty good workout. It was kind of weird though. I was hitting PRs on some movements and then some exercises just felt heavier than usual. But um, overall, went in, did my best and you know, tried to progress and that's all that counts. Anyways, I'm absolutely starving right now. As you all know, I trained fasted. So really, really hungry. Gonna go ahead, go home and get some food. Let's go. So got my post-workout meal, which is my first meal of the day. Have two sandwiches, and that's gluten-free bread. And then got some oven roasted turkey in there. Probably around three servings with uh, both of these sandwiches. And then I have some tomatoes, some lettuce, and then just some Dijon mustard in there. And then I have two servings of oven-baked chips. These are like Ruffles uh, sour cream and cheddar. They're really, really good. Low on fat, high on carbs. And this is like the perfect meal right now. Might have like another serving of chips. One thing I'm gonna make sure I do today is eat a lot. Definitely increase my calorie intake, especially if I'm gonna be training legs in just a few hours. So that's two sessions in one day. Honestly, I'm already exhausted after the push workout. I don't even know how I'm gonna do good with my leg workout, but screw it. Gotta do it for the YouTube. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then probably cry until my next workout. All right, so it's been like two hours. I'm back at the gym. I'm pretty damn full right now because I had a huge meal and it hasn't really settled in yet. I don't feel like being here at all. But you know what? Screw it. We're going to get this workout and do it right. All right, so first thing I'm going to be doing is some squats. First set is going to be 265 pounds for five and then 285 for five. And then my last set is going to be 300 for five plus, which sounds horrible right now. But you know what? I'm going to try to push through and get it done. Next exercise, we got leg press, seven plates, hitting for around six to eight reps for two sets. Then I'm drop it down, hit around 10 to 12 for two more sets.
So I just got back from the gym and that was one of the most unnecessary things ever. I've never felt so ready to leave the gym the moment I got there. Just so unmotivated for a workout ever. And I can't believe people still do two-a-days and think that's like a thing like you have to do that and think they're all hardcore about it because that was seriously so stupid and I'm never gonna do that again um, but I did do some leg curls or I did leg extensions and some lying leg curls as a superset and some calves and abs which I didn't even film just because I was so unmotivated guys I didn't even feel motivated to film at all I just half-assed the entire thing which is why I didn't film it and yeah that was just horrible guys and you know, the whole moral of this video is to just let you guys know that you need to keep it simple when it comes to training. Don't overcomplicate things. When it comes to your training, you need to first be honest with yourself and ask yourself this. How many days a week can I truly train in the gym and be consistent with it and enjoy it? Is it going to be three days a week? Is it going to be four days a week? Five days a week? Six days a week if you want to, which you don't even have to do, by the way. You can get incredible results on three days a week or four days and five days a week in the gym and get to that body you've always wanted to. And after you've really narrowed that down and, and are honest with yourself, you know, something, like I said, you can be consistent with, not just for two weeks, three weeks, for months on end. Once you figure that out, get on a workout split or a workout routine that includes frequency training. So you're training everything twice a week, every muscle group twice a week. And then after that, make sure you're, you're focusing on the right exercises. And of course, most importantly, progressing on those movements. And then once you've figured all of that out, you go in the gym, you have a game plan, and you're in and you're out, and that's it. There's no what ifs, buts, or so's about it. It's that easy, guys. I think so much of the fitness industry and this whole like fitness, I guess, uh, movement, is it really portrays that it's so sacrificing and so enduring and you gotta beat yourself up all the time, but it's not like that. That's that's what I want my videos to, to prove to you all, especially this video. You don't have to do any of this, especially this two-a-day training and all the sacrifices and all that stuff. It's really so much easier than you think. And you know, that's kind of my whole philosophy behind the training. So I really hope this kind of opened up your eyes a little bit. Now don't believe everything you see. Um, if you're not a professional athlete, you're just trying to get fit, you're trying to get healthy, you wanna get that body you've always wanted, you know, some abs, you don't need to do all that. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't listen to really the hype on the fitness industry and what everyone is doing, you know, because I can guarantee you that's not what it's about. But anyways, that's going to end off the video. I really hope you all enjoyed this. A little different than usual. I'm most definitely never going to do this again. So please give this video a like uh, for my suffering. Go ahead, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel for plenty of more content to come. And I'll see you all in the next video. Oh. Sixes, you should be afraid.